Work on decommissioning the nuclear reactors at Harwell started over seven years ago. The enriched uranium fuel rods and water were taken out, the hole sealed and the whole lot covered in concrete. But even now the remaining core is radioactive. It's into this environment that the public is being invited on two open days at the end of June. All of the high active uh, fuel and uh, components inside have been removed and the reactor is uh, now in a state of long-term care and maintenance. There's no uh, risk at all to, to you or I standing just outside here. Nevertheless, the open day visits will take place amid a continuing controversy about radiation measurements at Harwell. A recent helicopter survey showed some unexpected results. The Harwell management say it's nothing to worry about. Where we're standing, the radioactivity being emitted is less than you would expect on a flight to Spain on a jum jumbo 747. There are three reactors in the process of decommissioning at Harwell. The largest two are Dido and Pluto. The levels within all three are constantly monitored, says the AEA. We entered the reactor just over an hour ago and it hasn't re recorded any micro sieve dose to my body. It'll be another 30 years before Dido here and the other two reactors at Harwell are completely decommissioned. But as far as the management here is concerned, it's perfectly safe now. They come in here more or less every day with no more protection than a simple white coat. But the management does admit that they contribute to the outside radiation, the normal background levels. So while they may be happy, not everyone else is. Wendy McLeod Guilford thinks opening the reactors to the public is dangerous because there's still radiation there. It's only partially decommissioned and I think it's very foolish to allow children, especially, to go around the inside of the reactor building. And the local authority responsible for the environment around Harwell is carrying out its own investigation. The levels we're talking about are very low. It's just a matter of making sure that what monitoring is carried out on the site is as, as effective as it could be. But as far as Harwell's concerned, they say they've got nothing to hide and they want the public to see that. Thank you. Then wash your hands.